Today is Cesar Chavez's birthday, and I'm here at Casa Rosado on West Mount Hope in Lansing, where Teresa Rosado is celebrating all of his accomplishments, as well as hoping that local community members follow in his footsteps of peaceful conflict resolution. I think it's especially relevant now. Uh, we have uh, many of our children around us in our neighborhoods are experiencing gun violence. So learning different ways of remediating uh, conflict is very important to learn, and we can all learn a lot from our civil rights leaders like Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez was a civil rights leader and farm labor activist who fought hard for the Latinx community and people who follow in his footsteps like Teresa Rosado, who opened Casa de Rosado, are using today to celebrate all of his hard work. People like Guadalupe and his wife remember a time where they were affected by extreme farm labor. I used to pick tomatoes and all that other good stuff, potatoes and all that. I can remember picking next to my wife, telling her, I don't want to do this work, mom, it's too hard the hot sun and everything. They were in the fields as young as four years old helping their parents work and they felt that, like it was a punishment to go out, that they were, they, they didn't see it as a, oh, I'm gonna earn some money. It, it felt, um, yeah, hard for them. And Guadalupe made it clear that this fight isn't over. So they want to continue working towards fair conditions throughout the country. March 31st is Chavez's birthday, but it also marks the opening day of the Cesar Chavez Los Muerto Farm Worker in Michigan exhibit here at Casa de Rosado. This exhibit includes a 100-piece collection that will give people insight into the everyday struggles and milestones Chavez faced during the 60s and 70s, focusing on Michigan. We'll be running until May 28th. We're open Saturdays and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Here in Lansing, I'm Asia Lawrence, Fox 47 News.